You need the TEFL job and I've got you covered for the best jobs hiring right now in July 2022. Stay to the end of the video because I'm not only showing you what the jobs are, how much they pay, who can apply, the terms and conditions, I'll also be giving you my example CV that has helped me secure the best positions available in the market. Also, Everywhere asks for a video introduction. You can just literally copy and paste everything that I have done, changing it a little bit with your own information there. It's helped me a lot in the past and you can do it too. Everything is free here. There's nothing to sell, there's nothing to buy. This is simply sharing so that you can get yourself a cool job. Head on over to our Facebook group where you can interact with me and other people in the community. We like to keep it fun, keep it lighthearted. I'm very critical and skeptical of the TEFL community and the industry right now because it's changing. I encourage absolutely everybody where possible to go solo because for me, it's working wonders and for a lot of people that I know. However, not everybody can do that. And if you're new to TEFL, then maybe you need to get experience and that all starts with a job. So head on over to these places. We'll be looking at them today. Welcome. Rise VC, Korean students teaching on Korean time largely. $15 an hour, I think that's the minimum for pretty much everybody, unless you're absolutely new to the industry. And so if you did go a little bit lower, I'd understand because, you know, things have changed recently. However, $15 an hour, I don't think is particularly bad. And so you can get more if you submit your qualifications and you can show that you are experienced and you are well qualified, then you can negotiate for more. And remember everybody, you stay in a job for a couple of months and after two, three months, if you can do a good job and you know you're doing a good job and your students are giving you good feedback, we always ask for more. And at that time, if they say no, then we get out of there because we always, always, always Keep looking for job. You get a job and you upgrade. You get that and you upgrade from 10 to 15, from 15 to 18, 18 to 20, 20 to 25, and on we go. You never, ever, ever stop looking for jobs because you are a fringe worker and you are absolutely expendable to any company. From Korea, we head over to the Middle East in Israel at Buddy's Classroom. Now they're offering 16 to $22 an hour. A lot of people, when they see that, they don't like it. They think, ah, okay, so that's just a way to get people in to entice a lot of attention. And some places do do that. Don't get me wrong, as a marketing tool. However, at this place, they do offer different bonuses. And so 16 is the minimum. You could very easily be getting $18 an hour or more. It depends on experience. However, class classroom bonuses and attendance is an important factor and so that is something that is directly under your control. They are providing their own materials. A lot of people give mixed feedback about them, meaning that they're not exactly the best. It is a work in development and so the company itself, they're not so rigid on you teaching each and every slide. You can adapt the material. They're pretty flexible about that. They have their own platform. It's kind of like a Zoom and so they'll be pretty much providing everything for you. Head on over to buddiesclassroom.com and get in your application now. Now, the next one's an interesting one. We've mentioned this before. However, companies, they do go through hiring cycles. And so if you applied for a job a couple of months ago and they said, oh, we're not hiring anymore or there was a sudden freeze, remember, they do open up again. They do have recruitment cycles. Booknook is once again recruiting. And they're looking for not only US citizens, but also people who are permanent residents too. And so if you are a non-native speaker, that's okay as long as you are a permanent resident. And and that's more to do with payment issues and tax, not for any kind of discrimination that they don't want people from outside the US, for example. They pay $18 an hour. And yeah, I know, I've heard it from people. You could get more in Starbucks and all this kind of stuff. But let's think about the kind of work that you need to do in Starbucks, taking crap from people all day, getting up, commuting to work, or you could just sit in the comfort of your own home and be doing what you love to do via the webcam. $18 an hour with additional incentives as well. So there are bonuses, they have their own platform, they're very flexible with the materials. Head on over to Booknook if you are a US citizen or you're a permanent resident in the United States. 
Once again, we're back at the $15 an hour rate, and this is for American and Canadian citizens only. However, that hasn't stopped me in the past. I've applied to jobs that have explicitly said it's only for US citizens or North American citizens, and I've managed to sneak my way in there before, especially after the China crash. Uh, you know, things were a little bit more flexible. Maybe they still are now, so it's always worth spamming out an email because you never know they might get back to you. Ulab, they are recruiting. It's at $15 an hour. However, while that may not be the best rate, they are very flexible with the scheduling and their staff are apparently really friendly. And so it might be worth checking out Ulab. VIP English, Asia-based, paying $12 to $14 an hour. I know it's not great. However, this is a pretty easy job to get. They're looking for people. So if you are new to TEFL, for example, I'd recommend heading on over there because at least it's a place to start. They are only looking for native speakers. However, they are a rather flexible place and they offer fixed booking hours. For some people, having that flexible schedule, that's, uh, you know, that's not a good thing. They're looking for something more stable, something more regular, and this is what VIP English can offer. Their payment system is very easy, and what you receive at the end of the month is going to be without any fees deducted. The Software House, Poland-based, a startup. They were looking for four teachers just a couple of days ago. They might already have closed their applications. However, I'd still send my application in there because we know that they're a startup and they might be expanding in the very near future if this company grows. And you would like to be first in line because, hey, it's really cool to get a phone call. Do you remember you applied to us? No, we're looking for teachers. Great, I'm ready to do that. $14.50 to $16.50 an hour for 55 minute lessons. This is the start. They do have opportunities to grow. All of the materials are, prov are, blah, 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 blah. All of the materials are provided. Give it a go, the software house. MrB.UK, native English speakers, 30 hours a week, 2,200 pounds. Their requirements are high. They're looking for people from senior management positions with tons of experience, 10 years. That's only to weed out the people who are just simply not eligible. If you have experience working for a company, maybe even in a management position, it could be some tiny little place, then you absolutely are eligible. If you're looking to get into business English, this is the kind of opportunity that you're looking for. I don't think there's any sustainability in teaching kids. That whole market has gone to down the drain. Teaching business English is where it goes and that is what's gonna give you sustainability. It also opens up other jobs. For example, me working with tech companies due to my, maybe my personality, some of my skills online, I was invited to a blockchain game project and I'm absolutely loving it there. So I have a very diverse income. I'm doing things that I really enjoy and now I'm moving away from teaching. And that is so cool because we can really branch out and develop other skills as well. If you're interested in remote working and especially anything to do with cryptocurrency, blockchain, blockchain gaming, then head on over to my other Facebook group because there I'm very active and it's all for free. We don't show any coins. It's all about waking people up and showing them about having a diverse income. However, MrB.UK, don't be afraid to apply to them, especially if you're interested in business English. What's the worst they can say? No, no one's going to shoot you. Final one today, and I promised myself a long time ago, I will never, ever, ever promote a Chinese company. However, it's kind of on the border because it's Hong Kong. Starkid are hiring and they're looking for a lot of different teachers, native English speakers. However, non-natives, I would apply as well. 20 to $25, give it your best shot, have a cool CV, have a cool video introduction. This is what they look like. This is what a CV should look like. This is an example of a CV for a business English teaching job or for a general English for adults. You want to really focus on number one, your picture. It should show what people can expect to see when they look through your webcam. So we don't want something in, uh, in a restaurant or something having fun with your friends with a joint hanging out of your mouth. We don't want that. Something clean, something professional. Second of all, focus on skills. That's what really needs to jump out from the page. Finally, keep it one page. People will not indulge 
hundreds of pages or dozens of pages, I've seen some really wild ones that people think are going to be indulged, they won't. You want one page that jumps out, very clearly shows your experience and your skills. If you don't have a lot of experience working in TEFL companies, focus on the skills that you feel you learned on your TEFL course. That will be it. Hello, my name is Teacher Richie. I am from London in the United Kingdom and I am TEFL qualified. I went to the University of Westminster in London and I have a bachelor's degree in politics. My teaching style is fun with a lot of emphasis on pronunciation and sentence fluency. In my lessons, you can expect quite a fast pace. I will challenge you and your children, and we are going to really learn how to speak fluently and accurately using very, very good English pronunciation. In my free time, I like cooking, I like traveling, I like exercising. Hi! And do you like that too? I hope to see you in my lesson soon. Bye bye. Video introduction again. One minute. Say who you are and why you are cool for this job. Also, think about ways to really express your personality. Try to show your skills. Don't talk about your skills. Don't tell me that I'm fun and charismatic. Be fun and charismatic and I will see that anyway. Also, think about your frame, what people can see on that video. Clear background. Make sure you look presentable. This is as simple as it needs to be. Copy, paste, copy, 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 copy. It's all for free. There you go. I really can't do anything else except do the interview for you. If you've enjoyed this video, then give it a thumbs up, maybe share it to someone who is also looking for a job. Just because you might not be eligible, or maybe you're happy with what you've got, it doesn't mean that someone else might not get something out of this. And so be sure to share it with other people. I never post videos just for the sake of it. I'm going to be doing a video on why teaching in Asia is absolutely dead. I was living in Italy when the pandemic hit, as many of you may know, Italy got hit really hard. I flew away because I'm a remote worker and we can do that really easily. I headed on over to the epicenter. I knew that that was gonna be a good idea and it was. I spent two and a half years in Vietnam during the pandemic. It was absolutely an awesome experience. However, I always got my money from elsewhere and I didn't work inside the country. However, I did have a very good exposure to what was happening inside the country and I understood all of what was happening with the TEFL because I kept my eyes on there. The whole thing is done. Rates, conditions, you name it, it is done. The conditions for foreigners now working in most Asian countries have never ever been so bad. I'll be posting about that shortly. I never make a video just for the sake of it. And so be sure to subscribe to this channel, hit that notification bell, because when I do have something to say, it's always for free. It never costs you anything. Thank you.